So, first things first, Ben, the test clearly was tougher than you thought it was going to be. I think it's... Do you know what I think is brilliant about this test is that we're, we're living... Um, the, the army, we were chatting about this, is a mirror to society, and so many people are obsessed now about the look, appearance, mm. the body mm. as an ornament rather than an instrument. And I think the story that I picked up on, it wasn't me accusing the army standards of failing it. This was a story widely written in the newspapers. And the army got in touch and said, listen, can we prove to you that actually we've changed this and we're now improving that fitness to use the body like an instrument to actually simulate real things that go on in the battlefield. Things field. you might have to, to deal Genuine with. Genuine things, extraction yeah, of, of bodies. Yeah, and I think yeah. this, that is what I thought this test did. Listen, I'm no expert, but I'm reasonably fit, and I thought the fitness test that I did yesterday pushed me. It definitely, it definitely stretched me, and I think what's interesting is that soldiers will have to do this every single year, at least once, I, I once, believe. Once a year. And, uh, and, and I, I definitely think it's, it's fit for purpose. So had it been a concern of, of you, of the armies, about fitness levels? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, you know, f soldiers have to be fit. Mm. We, uh, we've identified that the old tests, there's nothing wrong with the old tests, but they, they're 20 years old. Mm. And now with uh, the addition of science and research, etc., and we've identified that soldiers need to, need to be functionally fit, strong. We want our soldiers to be bigger, faster, stronger. And so there are things that you have to do in the Army that probably require muscles and skills that you wouldn't necessarily need in normal life, either. You have to lift people in difficult situations, and you could be the fittest person in the gym, but not necessarily be able to deal with that. Is that right? No, that's right. And it's, yeah. it, it's not about running in straight lines, carrying no. heavy kit. It's about bending, repeated carrying. It's yeah. trying to replicate the things that ground close combat would, would, would look like. Lift, sandbagging, moving mm. casualties, advancing towards... So the if enemy. that's if the case in this test has been changed and updated, which seems like the right thing to do, I mean, I think the statistic that shocked Ben and that shocked everybody was mm. that 10% of the army are clinically obese. How has that happened? Because I think that's the, that's the question people are asking. OK, hey, so uh, obesity, I mean, it depends how you measure obesity. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to go with the old BMI, you know, height and weight, um, then you're going to look at, I don't know, a, a huge majority of the England rugby team being obese. Yes. Mm. I'd be obese. Yeah, I've operated in Afghanistan, I've operated in Iraq. You'd be obese, would you? Absolutely. Because of your muscle. body mass um, they, they ratio. Yeah, they don't differentiate between muscle and, and fat. And, and fat. Mm. So, uh, so that's not helpful when you're dealing so with the so army. So you'd question the statistics slightly, or just in terms of... Well, I, th I think we have to look at the bigger picture as well. I, I think we, we all agree now that fitness is more than just putting one fit, foot in front mm. of the other and carrying a heavy bag. It's about your diet, it's about your mental state of mind, it's mm. about well-being, it's about how much sleep you get. And, and I, I think, although the fitness test is definitely fit for standard, it would be interesting to see what the diet is, how soldiers are eating, um, and, uh, and, and their overall mental well-being and fitness, because mm. I think that that can lead to what we, dis what, what we describe as a, a obesity. So what, what was your answer to that then, Gavin? Do you think that there's more uh, sort of focus being put on those parts of the, of the whole experience for a soldier these days? So I think soldiers, you know, they, they are our army. You know, they're warriors, but they don't join the army as warriors. They need time to, to change, to adapt, to be built. Um, and we give them all the the nutrition, the exercise, the, the education that, that they need. But we must remember that warriors come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Mm. Now, one of the tests that you have to do yeah. is a vehicle casualty extraction test. Uh, Gab, will you explain a little bit about what, the, what, in, what is involved with that? So it simulates um, the removal of, of a casualty from a, uh, from, from a vehicle turret. Hang on. Um, and it's, uh, it's a 70 kilo lift. Yeah. And it's almost, it's, it's like a bit of a deadlift. Bit of a deadlift, so, so 70 look, kilos. Watch your back, watch your back OK? <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> I'm doing this. So that's 70 kilos of potatoes we've got oh, there. Oh, oh, that's a lot of potato wedges, isn't it? <laughs> so essentially, this is what you're simulating, yeah. is somebody being in a car and having to take them out of a turret, and, yeah. and, and the soldiers on the battlefield will need to be able to perform that extraction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, if you're in a vehicle, you're going to be wearing less kit and equipment than yes. you would be if you're dismounting close combat, fighting with mm. kit on. So um, that's why it's around 70 kilos, um, mm. with the idea that somebody might be assisting as well. I think Have what's you really, done what's that, then? I, I had to do... I, I did a whole... So I spent a You're whole right. afternoon, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling a bit... I'm feeling it today. I think what's really interesting is the soldiers I was with, because this hasn't been introduced... This new fitness uh, standard hasn't... Ha it's been tested. It hasn't been introduced oh, okay. to, uh, to the right. Army yet. Yeah. 
the soldiers I spoke to yesterday, you can see them uh, on screen there, they, they um, suggested that at least half of their colleagues would really, really struggle with this new fitness test. And I think that's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm someone that has embraced life by, by making it as hard as possible. I, I don't think we should shy away from it. And the other important thing to point out is that this is for women as well. Mm. So this, this is um, All right. uh, for okay, men and women. Yeah, okay, you're, you're, <laughs> like no, like you're not Ginger Rogers said of Fred Astaire, yeah. I can do anything he can do but backwards and in heels. So let's see. Uh, yeah, that hard. You can. There you Look, go. There you well, go. You can. there, but not very high. I think we're, we're impressed. Wow. Yeah, that's good. So the idea okay. is that that's a small person that you're having to carry who's injured. It's 11 stone. <laughs> so that's, that's not necessarily like, a small person. It depends what you call yeah, small yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't live both. And interestingly, uh, on, 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 um, on Ben's Ooh, point there, though, Gab, about both. what the soldiers were saying, that half of their colleagues may struggle with the fitness mm. test. What happens if that, if that does occur and someone does fail a fitness test? Do they get put on special measure? I mean, not... Yeah, yeah, okay. So um, we'll say that people may struggle. That's because it's a brand new test. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not what they can do now. It's what we can make them do in six months' time. So we'll train them to be able to do this. Mm. We need to look after our people and let them know what the rigours of combat look and feel like. And, and this sort of test regime does that. Um, there will be a failure policy that will come in like anything else. Um, you know, it's going to be no surprise that soldiers need to be fit. Mm. And, you know, we need to ensure that they, they are fit and they make the standards. Great stuff. Well, well done for taking on the it challenge, is, Ben. It's it my pleasure. It does sound like a really good test, a really interesting test as well. And uh, uh, Major Gav Patton, thanks for joining us too. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. If you could have lifted those both up and put them in my hands, I might have had a chance. You'd have been fine, is that wouldn't not you? the point? No, I'm not oh. sure that is the point. Okay.